Hello, and today we'll be making um, balloons that float, um, like kind of like those helium balloons you get at parties. But we won't be filling them with helium, we'll be filling them with hydrogen. Now, first of all, put on some gloves. Here, let me, okay, put on some gloves, and then put on some goggles. I'll be wearing face shields because it's just more safer for me. You could wear a face shield too. And you'll need to build this. Get a, just a regular glass bottle, attach tubing through it, through a stopper. I have a stopper over here. And um, this is vinyl tubing. And you're gonna attach that to a small, like a small water bottle. And you're gonna fill it with water. So when the sodium hydroxide, yes, you'll be needing sodium hydroxide, reacts with aluminum, and you'll be needing aluminum, to form hydrogen, it'll bubble through it and all the um, sodium hydroxide vapors or fumes or, and the steam will be absorbed in the water and all the hydrogen, all the clean hydrogen will be filled, let's get that over, all the clean hydrogen will be filled in the balloon. Now you, I'm going to just put the balloon there, you don't have to put it right now but I'm just going to do that. Alright in here I already have some sodium hydroxide mixed with water. Uh, the sodium hydroxide is crystal drain cleaner. Make sure it's 100% sodium hydroxide for it to work the best. Liquid drain opener will not work. And let's get started. So I'm going to put in the aluminum. It's going to start to react. Let's see if it's reacting. Huh. Okay, it's going to start to react. And what we're going to do is we're going to wait until it reacts. Fill the surrounding with water because you want it you want to have an ice bath I mean a water bath because it's gonna get really warm and it's gonna be so hot that it's gonna boil the water inside the um, glass container that you chose and we're going to put this paper towel so it'll cool place it over there let me shake it up see what happens is it reacting I think it is it might not be reacting that much because I already used this solution twice, and here, oh, here it is, it's reacting quite vigorously already, and you can see that the balloon is starting to float up, that's the balloon starting to float up, I'm going to shake it one more time, just like that, and I'm going to close up the glass screen, just in case if it gets too hot or anything dangerous happens, which shouldn't happen because I've done this before. And we'll see what happens when the balloon is fully inflated. As you can see, I added more ice and the balloon is getting bigger as hydrogen fills it up. Hydrogen is a lot lighter than air and it is even a lot lighter than helium. So it's going to be really light and it's going to float. When it's about ready, we're going to open the screen and we will be tying the balloon up. Here we go. And check this out, watch this. It floats. See? There you go. So that is how you make a floating balloon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.